Hello and welcome to my Chat Sonic review where I'm going to be going over some of the features, giving you a demo as well as talking about the pricing, pros and cons when it comes to the software. If you would like to test out Chat Sonic, I will leave my link down below and if you click that, you can get a free trial for Chat Sonic. And something I want to clear up just in case there's any confusion, Write Sonic is going to be the software and Chat Sonic just happens to be one of the features of it, okay? It's grown in popularity, so I know a lot of people mention that. So, so in case there's any confusion, now you should know. Let's begin. So first and foremost, there are a lot of things that you can do with this. Starting off, there's going to be a current personality, which could be a little bit different from other things we have seen previously. I like the general AI, but in case you're doing something a little bit different, maybe when it comes to translation, there's an interviewer, a travel guide, stand-up comedian, where you can get some more of a, a funny phrases and prompts, motivational coach, relationship, poets, philosopher, astrologer, career counselor, personal trainer, and accountant. So... Nevertheless, I'm going to leave it on general AI. And the first thing I want to do is create some type of content. And what I want to do is create a video script. I'm not going to go through all of the steps, but this will give you a good idea about how it works. For example, you can pretty much just tell ChatSonic to do anything you want, ask it a question, give it a prompt, and it'll give you some good responses and content. So what I have here is write an outline for a video called three best tips for generating more leads on social media. I'm going to click on this little arrow here and let's wait a few seconds and see what we get. All right, so here we go. The first one's going to be defining your target audience, identifying your platforms, creating engaging content, and last, I guess, could be monitoring and analyzing results. That's more of something, I don't know if that's a tip or a little bit extra. So this could use as our outline. So what we want to do is start from the beginning. So let's write an introduction or maybe like a hook. So give me one second. I'm going to give you a prompt. All right, so put, write me one or two paragraphs for a video introduction script. I said the title is going to be three best. Once again, you can also enable memory, so you probably don't even need to create that or add that extra. It'll understand what we had previously. So we're going to go with the introduction right here. Let's click on this and go from there. All right, so welcome. In this video, we'll be discussing the best tips for generating leads on social media. Do you want to increase leads and grow your business? Are you struggling to optimize your social media presence? Then this video is the perfect guide for you. We'll be covering topics such as defining your target audience, identifying the right platforms, creating engaging content, and monitoring and analyzing the results. So let's get started. Pretty straightforward, right? That's exactly what we're looking for. And we're going to do the same thing for each section. So next, we'd want to write, say, a paragraph or two about defining your target audience. Give me one second. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to write a prompt down below. All right. So remember, this was the outline. So it gave us the main idea and other things that we can talk about. You don't have to include those. That's really going to be up to you. You can obviously put something else in there. But I said, write a few paragraphs about defining your target audience in this. Make sure that you talk about. And I put these extra sections here. So something else I want to bring up is the today's limit. This is going to be something in the pro section. But if you'll notice, every time I use this, it goes down two and it doesn't use any of my words. This is something that at first was confusing to me, but I realized you get free content. So once this goes down to zero, then it starts using your word counts when you have a paid plan. So that's a good thing. So you'll notice that as we continue on, but just wanted to throw that out there as well. Let's write this next section. So we have our intro and this is going to be the first quote unquote paragraph for our script in the YouTube script or just video script. So defining your target audience is a key step in generating leads on social media. Before you start creating content, it's important to consider who you are trying to reach, what type of content will interest them. Consider researching what companies and influencers in the field are doing. Furthermore, consider segmentation and so on and so forth. Say we wanted a little bit more. So what we can do is... Okay, so say you wanted to write more. You could always just say continue writing more, but I wanted to be a little bit more specific. Write another paragraph and talk more about researching your perfect audience when doing social media marketing. Talk about where you can go and how you can do it. Enter. All right, perfect. So it talks more about research, of course. And the, the thing I really want to know about is you can start looking at demographics, demo, demographics, demographics, interest and behaviors. This can be done through so-and-so. And then it talks about consider joining forums and groups related to your industry as, as well as following influencers and leaders in the field. So we got exactly what we were looking for. So I'm not going to go through the rest, but I'm pretty sure you can see how this is going to work out. In this scenario, when we were creating a video script, we came out with our outline first, right? Now we're going Going through each of these and writing paragraphs about each of these sections. Okay, we did our intro, then we have this one, which I just did, and you would continue on with the same. If you ever want to write more content, just tell Chat Sonic, hey, write some more paragraphs about so and so. Make sure you talk about this, this, and this. Aside from being able to create content, you can actually create some art as well. Let's go to that. 
All right, so you can create art if you want. If you want to have it, just type it in there. As it says right here, you can create digital artwork and visuals for any purpose. Now, in my opinion, they're not the best in the world. They're not bad. You know, I wouldn't say they were like some of the best I've ever seen, but it's cool that they at least have it there. So I'm just going to keep this here, create stunning art of New York City at night and see what we get after clicking on the enter or send button. Okay, and this was actually pretty good. This is a little bit more pixelated for my liking. This one looks a lot better, but it really depends on what you're going to be going for. In my opinion, when it comes to creating any type of AI art, it's more about specificity in terms of what you put here. The more you put here, the better you'll get here, in my opinion. But let's go back and talk a little bit more about ChatSonic. As it talks about here, there's so many different use cases when it comes to using it. Emails, articles, essays, ads, social media posts, uh, answers, product reviews, product comparisons. There's a whole lot you can do. Pretty much anything that you can think of that you'd want to ask ChatSonic, it can help you out with. There is also going to be the ability to give voice commands instead of typing. All you would need to do is click here and then of course you can start recording. I'm not going to do that considering I'm already using my mic and I'm recording at this certain time. But in case you don't feel like typing stuff in, you can use a voice command, which is a unique feature. And aside from that, there is the big thing that ChatSonic is talking about, where you can write factual content on the latest topics, including today's news. So what you'd want to do with this is include latest Google data. Something I've noticed about this when it comes to ChatSonic and their latest news is that you're definitely going to have to fact check it. So let's do an example and see what comes up. And so I just put talk about the recent news of LeBron James being the all time scoring leader. Let's click on enter and see what we get. Right, cool. So there's even references as well. And it talks about, you know, when it is used for one. So with the fadeaway jumper in the third quarter, I believe it was in the third quarter is probably like 10 seconds left on Tuesday against the Oklahoma City Thunder. James has scored more regular season points than any player in NBA history. So is it regular season or regular in playoffs? I'm not sure. Like I said, you got to fact check some of these things. Surpassing the record that six-time NBA MVP Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has held for 39 years, James critics have used his ability to create for others against him, inaccurately painting him as something less than one of the most dangerous scorers of all time, and so on and so forth. So overall, not too bad just by skimming on my knowledge. I'm not too you know, into NBA, but I have an idea that some of these things are correct, but it's nice that it has references. Just keep in mind that you are going to have to do some editing, so... Let's do one more example when it comes to news, because I know this is a big thing when it comes to chat, Sonic. Let's go back one. Here's a simple one. Who is going to be playing in the Super Bowl in 2023 and enter? All right, so this is a perfect example of what I was talking about before. Most of this looks great aside from one thing. Let's take a look very quickly. So it's going to be 2023, February 12th. I think that's the date. Don't feel like doing the math in my head. But anyway, uh, the Eagles and the Chiefs, that's right. Now, look, it says the Los Angeles Rams are predicted to win the Super Bowl again in 2023. So clearly this is a reference. OK, uh, let's see. Predicting NFL bracket Super Bowl winners. This is a time where you get a reference and it just doesn't work well. It told us who is in the Super Bowl. And then it says the Rams are predicted to win despite them not being in there. So clearly this reference was, say, before the playoffs or like right before they got to it or middle of the season, whenever it was. So that's kind of sometimes when you might get a little mixing and matching or just some editing that you need to do. While the Cincinnati Bengals are predicted to lose, well, they they lost. So like I said, that's probably a reference that came from the past. Uh, but aside from that, the halftime show will be performed by Rihanna. I believe that is true and it will be streamed on Apple Music for the first time. I don't know if that's true, but like I said, some things you're just going to need to fact check, especially for the fact if you're going with the latest news. Heck, a lot of times news channels don't even get the news right. So but it is pretty cool that you can leverage some of the newest news that's happening in the world instead of being stuck with like previous years, which sometimes happens with other software, as we've noticed. Aside from that, very quickly, let's take a look at the pricing plans. Pretty friendly pricing here. We have a free trial, which I talked about. That does come with ChatSonic, so you get 25 free generations every day. Uh, you get plenty of templates, landing page generator. This is mostly about chat Sonic, but like I said, it comes with right Sonic. From there, long form starts at $19 per month. Pretty friendly pricing. And of course, if you want to go with premium, you get less words per month. So premium would be 19,000. Good is 47.5, 95,000 economy, 190. And of course, if you want to save, you know, you can save 33% uh, by paying annually. So with that in mind, let's very quickly take a look at the pros and cons. They're actually very similar in terms of some of the things that I liked and disliked or could be improved for that matter. 
first and foremost, the pros, the good content is good. Okay. When I was creating content in this, I was using good. I wasn't using premium average or economy. And you saw the results that we got. They were good. You know, I like them. It's usable. Nothing really wrong with it aside from a few errors when it comes to the news. Uh, something else I really like was the today's limit. If I go back to chat Sonic, you'll see that uh, I made some before creating this, but you get 25 every day. And I haven't even tapped into some of the words that come with my premium plan. So that's a very nice perk. You get this free amount of content every day. And then once you use that, it starts taking away words. So you can get a good amount of content done, especially if you're doing some every day. I like that. And of course, we talked about today's news. Despite the fact that there are going to be some blips here and there that you need to fix, it's cool that it allows you to kind of tap into what's happening in the world based upon, you know, the latest Google data. Turns on the cons on the other side, something that could be improved. Uh, like I just talked about, the fact checks you're definitely going to have to do, not with just news, but if you're doing something that really needs fact checking, like it's a lot easier to write an article about the benefits of YouTube marketing. But if you're talking about something more historic where dates are more important, facts are much more important, keep in mind you are going to have to do that. And that's the same with like any other AI software, right? It's unfortunate that you have to like use more words in order to get premium. So say I have good, I have 52,000, but if I go with premium, you know, I only get 20,000. So it would be cool if it was always premium, but that's just me. And of course, those are like the two biggest things that I came up with. Good is definitely going to be good enough, but if you want to go with premium, that is going to be up to you. But all in all, those are the pros and cons when it comes to Chat Sonic. Obviously, the pros outweighs the cons. The cons are more of improvements that I think could be made and would be nice to have. It's just not the way it is. Anyway, I definitely recommend checking out Chat Sonic. I will leave my link down below where you can get a free trial and get to use it just like I did in this video. Hope you enjoyed this chat sonic review. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.